Well, hello, Planty people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a minute and a half since I have taken you guys to a big box store, and I thought that I would do something about that today. Sorry, I'm not as fresh-faced, like, glamorous. I, I'm never usually really glamorous, but I could have at least put on some mascara and some eyeliner, but I was too lazy. I literally just, like, rolled out of bed and was like, let's go to Home Depot <laughs> and maybe we'll find a sport maybe we won't I just saw them unload some plants so maybe we've got a good selection going on who knows but yeah let's just go ahead and get right into it let's look at some plants see if we can find anything good see what's going on see what's popping down here at the depot first of all dang because this is usually where they keep them on series and it looks like it is Little Leaf Fig Central. They are $25 in these nice little white pots, along with some peace lily and a ton of Sansevieria. <laughs> Every, all of these pots, I guess, are $25. With some different bakia. Over here, we have a lot of palms. They're like $20, 1998 much bigger so big for $88 Ooh. yikes and even bigger one for $99 which I don't know I think I'd just rather get one of these smaller ones that probably have multiple fiddly figs in them for $25 but that's just me. Uh, and some photo baskets for $15. Some ZZs for the $25 price. Really pretty money tree. I don't have one of these and I've been considering one of these. This one looks really really nice. Some ferns. Some more series. Yay! Um, what are these called? Oh, what are you called? I can't think of what you're called. <laughs> oh. Sometimes you just get like too much information and too many plant like names like in your head. You just can't remember all of them all the time. <laughs> um, some bird of paradise. This one's kind of neat. It's beautiful. And the Bird of Paradise are $30, which is meh, 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 meh. Some more over here. And we have some dragon trees. These look kind of neat. Yucca. Yucca, yucca, what do you guys say? I'm going to dig through these really quick and let you guys know what I find and if I find anything. Watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorites Alright, so unfortunately I didn't see anything that looked like really really sport variegated Except for this little dude it had like a little bit of a spot on it However, like the next two leaves were totally green So <laughs> I have two monsteras already that I thought were going to be good sports and they haven't really done anything. Like the next leaves that they have produced have been like all green so if I'm going to get a sport monstera like it's going to have to be like really really obvious that it's a sport monstera. Okay so next we have some uh, Marble Queen Pothos and a like six or eight inch basket for $20 and some Hedrasium. Some ferns, some petonia, lots and lots of ferns. Then right over here we got some small baskets of golden pothos for $15. They look really, really nice. Lots of little succulents, little cacti, succulent arrangements. They vary in price. Big dude. Lots of little succulent baskets. This doesn't make any sense. Why would you put a curtain in the middle of some succulents? That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, this guy looks really pretty. 
how fun he is. It's a very, uh, I'm gonna have to clean off my camera screen really quick. Okay, that looks better. Cleaned off my camera really quick. It's a very nebulosa. Doesn't say a price, but these are usually like five bucks or so. Tons of little dudes. That's some really nice maculatas. Chinese evergreens. Pretty. Pepper Romeo. Birkins. My Birkins finally bit the dust. I finally threw it away. <laughs> um, some ficus. Oh, tons and tons of maculatas. And there's this really cool, um, oh, what is it called? Oh my god, what is it called? Palladians. <laughs> but they look like really, really pretty, like, syngoniums to me, honestly. They just look so striking. Um, I really like palladiums, but I don't like how they just, like, go dormant in the wintertime and they go completely back to their holes. Polyphotra, I think. So yeah, lots and lots of Birkins, lots of trending tropicals these days. Really cute little Chinese evergreen. Like the little small fairy plants. Look at this little whimsical fern just doing his thing. Aluminum plant. A little uh, chiflera. A little begonia. We got like a little baby heteracium. That's nice. I think this is a begonia, but this is like a outside begonia. A macayana for fifteen dollars. They never sell macayanas here. I also have some fake. I had I touched that and it felt real, so I was like, "What?" Yeah, some fake plants right here as well. Um, got your bromeliads, which I don't vibe with, but if you vibe with, that's cool. Some air plants. I have been considering an air plant as of late. I just haven't taking the plunge, which is funny because I never thought I would ever want an air plant, but Heart Shaped Leaves came out with a video on her air plant care tips and tricks, and <laughs> your girl's thinking about it. Some philodendron, bro marks, there we go, <laughs> here you come to me, a really, really sad uh, staghorn fern. Oh yeah, let me show you these orchids over here. I was looking at them the other day and I can't tell if they're sick or, ooh, what is this? These are cute, that's cute. But I can't tell if they're sick or if they're supposed to look like this. So you guys let me know. Well, look at these, look at the spots. Like a ton of them have these spots. And I can't figure out if that's healthy or not. I just think it looks so cute. Yeah, tons of little orchids. This little guy is so cute. Look at that little bloom. Look at that bloom. Oh, you're so cute. Um, if you guys are wondering what orchid, like what moss I use, it's this guy. It's uh, $5. The bad part is is that it's got like these little sticks that you kind of have to pick out in them, but that doesn't really bother me. Also, a section that I feel like gets really overlooked is this little orchid section, which I love to look at. <laughs> and there's tons of like little catlios. That's cool. Banda. Uh, 
too. We have bigger ones. Down here for $14 and the smaller ones are $8. Yeah, they just, I like this little section. I feel like it gets very, very overlooked. Look at that view. Okay guys, so we're back in the car. I didn't pick up anything today because there wasn't anything that I absolutely loved and I'm still trying to stick really firmly to only picking up plants and purchasing plants that I actually like really, really want and love and like. Yeah, there was a lot of good, you know, specimens, a lot of good healthy plants in there today, which is really, really nice to see. Like, uh, I like seeing that, you know, somebody has a green thumb in there. <laughs> Um, I will say that it was really difficult to look at the sport variegation on those monsteras because they were so wet and it just made things, made the like hunting process just that more difficult. But you know, one day I will find a like sport variegated monstera that is just like so, mm, so good and I will be the happiest person in the world. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Wait, no, incorrect. If you like the content, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you really like the content and you wanna see more from yours truly, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel, button mashing 101 where I play video games and I just hang out and chill and talk to you guys. So yeah, go follow me over on there and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Just loving.